it has become appallingly obvious that our technology has exceeded our humanity. The number one benefit of information technology is that it empowers people to do what they want to do, it lets people be creative, it lets people be productive, it lets people learn things they didn't think they could learn before. And so in a sense, it is all about potential. Schools are engaging the potentials for technology to transform teaching and learning. However, bringing technology into the classroom in productive way is easier to set than done. The future belongs to the nation that best educates its citizens. America's place as a global economic leader will be put at risk if we don't do a far better job of educating our sons and daughters. Studies show that in the year 2012, the percentage of school in the United States of America that have computers in their classrooms is increasing by 1% every year until the present year. This implies that the technological growth is rising in in considerable speed. Evolving workplace, demanding more technical skills from employees, combined with the astronomical price of traditional degrees and the continuing demand for skill developers and programmers, they have made online education. With the development of the internet, the multimedia technologies, education industry break through the traditional education model, implement teaching electronization, automation, network, and multimedia. Internet community supports text communicating and notes sharing between classmates and friends. Support good friends follow, update reminding and popular recommend, etc. Easy to use just like Facebook. Multimedia classroom, PC, mobile terminals, and other learning methods meet the learning needs of the different environments. Industry needs in developing trends create a modern environment for schools to improve students' skills so that students from different areas will receive the same education to improve learning quality and promote education fair. Education's mission is to prepare students to be successful for life. That means something a little different for students in the ELS classrooms. It's quite hard, but they see it worth the work. David, what would you like to eat? I want to eat cereal. I want to eat cereal. I think one of the most important developments in the infusion of technology into our ELS classrooms is that until maybe six or eight years ago, much of the tech use involved 
devices that were specifically chosen and designated for a specific student. The last few years has brought us a proliferation of consumer-friendly technology that runs on tablets, that runs on a Chromebook, so that the tech that the kids are using looks like what all their peers use. One of the ways we use technology is the students uh, videotape or take pictures of things they do over the weekend. And they use the pictures and the videos as conversation uh, starters, you know, to give them ideas of what they did over the weekend. One, two, Just the conversations that the students are beginning to have with one another, and we also see it happening outside as well. You know, having the students run up to someone else saying, what'd you do over the weekend um, is awesome, and going up to other teachers, and you know, it's really neat to see the students interact with one another. Let's walk, walk, make sure you're in step. There we go. And then let's get some bricks. <laughs> I like that rhyme. That's like your own Braille Rap song. Did you make up your own Braille Rap song? <laughs> Last spring, we spent some time with the entire ELS staff talking about what successful for life means for our students. You know, think about how you would answer this question if you were a mom, one of the kids in the program. Then we got answers like this. I want my kids to know what they enjoy doing and know how to get that stuff. I want my kids to have friends. I want my kids to have a job that they like. I want my kids to be able to solve problems when they have them and to know where to go if they need help. We all need that. Uh, it's no different for the students who are coming through the ELS program. I would describe where we are now in terms of using technology in the ELS classrooms as just the starting point. Where I would love to see technology use go for our students who have disabilities is that we make much richer use of what's commercially available and that we blur the line between technology use for people with disabilities and the general population. As conclusion, technologies used in education in the United States have great influence and impact to their lives. Technologies are also necessary that they become part of everyday routines of each individual. It really shows that it is appropriate in educational system to utilize technologies. Indeed, technology has changed and shaped not only the America, but also the whole world. Changed our lives, changed our minds. Today, the power of science let the future enter our present world. Because past is history, yesterday is past, and today is future.